Hi friends, I'm Olga Kirsch and welcome back to my studio. I, for some reason, I got a lot of requests to show how to paint clouds. Um, although I'm mostly painting flowers, but I, sometimes I really like to paint landscapes. And I'm very happy to share you today how I'm painting clouds. And I hope you will find this uh, method uh, nice and relaxing and you will get nice results at the end. So let's start. For painting clouds um, you will need some plastic or glass pad because we are going to paint in wet and wet technique. If you have a bathroom nearby, you could just go and wet your uh, paper from both sides there. I'm doing this just with a brush and don't be greedy. It should be really, really, really wet on bo from both sides. And you should get a feeling that the paper glued to them to the pad here I do not have a very nice edge so I will turn the paper again on this side it's a nice one so now it is glued it stick to the pad and it is very very wet and I'm going to create a bottom layer. You probably expect uh, clouds to be white, but uh, first of all, in the nature, it's not so much of really white color. It always has a lot of shades. And second, it's add some artistic idea to, to the painting. What's important to remember about the clouds is that sun goes from the top, which means top uh, of the cloud is light and the bottom is dark. And right now I'm creating right on the top. I'm not waiting until it's um, dry. I'm just creating. I'm creating. Um, the sky. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm painting right now the sky and I'm I'm leaving some uh, these white areas, half white areas but in I want to right now to create a nice blue tech, um, sky blue texture for for the sky i paint very quick because we do not have that too much time or while our paper is still wet the more i go to the bottom the more darker i use the colors I paint, I create texture with different sides of the brush to make it nicer, interesting. And now I'm taking a paper towel, a dry paper towel, and create something roundish. And I blot out some colors just like this just always uh, keep this on the um, clean part you probably will need quite a lot of um, paper towels to do that so I'm starting with big areas to create these fluffy fluffy clouds and then a little bit aside and with very, now with very, very, very um, tender touches, I go all around to make our sky a little bit um, te 
textured, a little bit different. Um, if you would like to make some spots, just put, uh, dress your finger in the paper towel and that help you, will help you to control the tipping. Best way is just to tip like this. Always try to change, exchange for something. Something clean. Right now here, I do not like this line. It feels a bit weird. I want to soften it. And this, this is very, very weird spot, which also needs to be removed. So uh, either we could just stop right here. For example, uh, this is already enough to try. Or we will go a little bit further with relatively dry brush and create some contrast on the bottom because sun shines from the top and this part of the cloud is, is dark and with white and um, <laughs> with clean and dry brush I soften these areas always do not to hesitate to blot it with the paper towel this creates some beautiful contrast so if we think that sun shines here and it could create some fluffy some round areas inside of the brush with um, tip of the brush with the belly of the brush I distribute this random relatively random and with the help of paper towel I make it soften it's just to create this volume of the clouds I'm getting here a lot of sunshine suddenly and it really looks very joyful all this cloudy landscape landscape paper towel soften the edges what we need is really soft nice edges Try not to use too much water uh, right now on your brush uh, because the paper um, starts to dry and it's, um, it could create um, these weird blobs around. Take another paper towel to control your moves more. I just dress your finger in the paper towel go around just like this it's, um, it's a little bit too geometric to, to round I want to try to remove it I hope it was not a wrong decision because the paper is really getting dry here how to fix mistakes with paper towel it's, uh, it's one of your best friends when you're painting watercolor because um, it really really helps to correct 
correct a lot of things it's important not to overdo it Not to go now with too much water. And I, I'm looking through the camera. I see that here could be just a little bit more of shade. And this part could be a little bit on the top and to make it pop up I'm adding some shade to the bottom with very very gentle move now it's very important try not to disturb the um, the color which is already into into the paper and it's very important to stop at the right moment and that's very difficult <laughs> as you may notice Let's stop here. Thank you so much for watching this video for painting clouds with me. I am very curious um, to see your cloudy landscapes. Tag me on Instagram, olga.kölsch. Leave me some feedback which flowers or not flowers or clouds or not clouds you would like to paint next. And see you next time. Bye bye.